what is up everybody it's my first day back after taking a couple days off um we're still about to leave this uh i think it's friday or saturday i think it's friday we're leaving this friday it is today wednesday uh, underway soon underway soon but i'm walking in now i'm about to go do my stuff and then uh get a job done for the past like I don't know, a few months, I've pretty much been my supply officer chauffeur. Like whenever he needs to ride somewhere, he'd be like, hey Mike, come on. But, and then I'll be like, all right, cool. But it's always like, if I do it, he always gives me extra overtime for it. So it's always like, shit, why not? I don't gotta be doing my real job, but all I gotta do is drive. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so no different today. I don't know if I told y'all this, but crazy development, the chief steward that showed up, he, um. I don't know, he ended up having a stroke yesterday or something like that. So they took him to the hospital and um, I think he's gone for today. Or for today, the he's, they're sending him home. So, uh, <laughs> not the way I wanted it to happen, but hey, such is life, such is life, c'est la vie. So I was trying to upload today's video. Um, I finished it earlier today and been trying to upload it through my phone all for like the past like five fucking hours. It's just taking so long for some reason. But it's all good, it's all good. But let me get back to work. I have a question for all of you. Um, this may sound far-fetched or whatever, whatever. But me and my friend was just talking about it. But um, if something were to happen to where you're not sure, let's say you and a loved one you something were to happen to where you know your loved one might have been cloned what would be your contingency plan to know that that's my whether it be your husband your brother your wife or whatever that's him for sure you know what i'm saying it may look like him sound like him what would be your number one thing that you would be like hey remember this is and this and if they don't remember it or if they can't recall it then you know that's not that's not your person you know what i'm saying i i mean technically i feel like we should all have something like that with every person that's in our life if you're really in like close quarters with them on a the regular obviously someone you may just be working with that lives let's say you're in an office building they're on the top floor you're at the bottom or something like that so obviously that you don't need that but if someone you frequent talk to every day what is your go-to hey if you feel iffy about this person you're not sure that this is i mean they look like them sound like them can hold a conversation like them but you still feel iffy about it what would be your go-to conversation whether it be like i said your husband your wife your best friend your sister brother mom dad you know what i'm saying me and uh the shipmate we was just talking about it right now and I was thinking, I was like, damn, do I have that with other people? I think I probably have one with my brother. And, uh, like one of my other friends. But that's it. I think I only have, I need to have one with my mom, dad, my brother, my girl, and like a couple of my best friends. I need to have one because if shit were to hit the fan and they are able to start cloning people or whatever, I need to know. <laughs> I want to be able to figure it out. If I have an eerie feeling, I want to make sure I'm like, hey, let's say my friend JC, hey JC, remember that day, blah, 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 blah. And if they're lying or if, it, if they can't recall it and it's something I know for a fact they should recall, then you're a clone, bitch. You're not real. I don't know you. <laughs> Yeah, don't judge me by this. I think everybody should be, man, I do, don't judge me. Y'all should be doing it. Stay safe. End of the day dishes, let's get it.
be part of my tax for today? Hey. Yeah. You know I was collecting your debt. Are you like a Lannister? <laughs> Yo, yo, just finished the last meal, I last, just finished lunch, I meant, um, but the whole time I was watching uh, Abba and Preach, if y'all know who they are, one of their uh, videos, by the time you see this, it'll probably be like a fourth video, but I don't know, I'll probably post it right here, but um, watch it, I was, I had to pause it like four times, I had to cringe, because it was so, damn, <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to go to my room, chill, and then, uh, you know, take a little break for a little bit. You know, have a life. Duh. But let me get in my room. I'll talk to you in a minute. I can't really pause it because I got something in my hand. <laughs> I hope we've talked in a while, but it is Thursday. Um, I gotta go home today because my mom's still by herself. So I'm going home, gonna chill. Uh, I mean, it's still the middle of the day, so I ain't gonna be home for a while. But uh, it's Thursday. Hopefully, it's gonna be a chill day at work. But it's not, not with this chief steward, so. It's all good, it's all good. But let me go do my job so I don't get in trouble. What is up, everybody? Um, <clears throat> it is Monday morning, uh, March 25th. We are supposed to be leaving this Saturday, but who knows? Um, I'm chilling for right now. It's breakfast time. Breakfast, which uh, I guess there's not that many people here. Not many people is eating breakfast right now. But again, it is Monday morning, so we're chilling. It's about to be eight o'clock. Uh, we have stores today, which sucks, but yeah, we have stores today. Just another couple days. I'm not complaining about anything. I'm watching YouTube videos and uh, just chilling for the most part. I'm just chilling. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Deuces. What's up? What's up? Um, I know I haven't talked about this off uh, too much, but I still do consultations for. Um, for an hour if you want to schedule one with me just hit my email up or hit me on instagram and we can still uh, schedule like a one-on-one -on -one consultation if you just want to pick my brain about coming out here what it's like out here stuff like that um for the most part everything that you really need will be in my videos but if there's certain questions that you do have um and you want to pick my brain you can always try to schedule a consultation i do charge 100 for 100 for an hour but again I'll sit with you for the whole hour and if it goes past the hour, that's fine too. And I'll answer every question that I can. Um, but yeah, this is just an option if in case you guys want to do that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, we should be leaving soon. Not today, but sometime this week probably. <sighs> Unfortunately. But I'm not upset about it. The sooner we leave, the sooner this guy gets out of my life. So that's... That's a plus for me. I'll talk to you in a minute. Yo, yo. What's up, everybody? It's, uh, it's the overtime. I just want to talk to y'all while I do this. Uh, so. It's looking like we're leaving on Saturday. This Saturday, so in two days. We're leaving in two days. Uh... I'm mad about it, sad about it. No, not really. I'm ready to go. Because the sooner we leave, the sooner I don't have to deal with certain people, as I told y'all. <laughs> um, I don't have too much of an update for you in regards to the other job. Uh, for MSC, I'm pretty sure it's dead. I remember telling you guys that. But for the other company, I'm not. I don't know if it's dead or not. I, I haven't really heard too much from them. Uh, last time I talked to them, I think I told y'all was a couple weeks ago, and they said um, 
they're about to start looking at applications for real now. So we'll see. I'm probably gonna, I might call today just for GP and then um, see what happens then. But in regards to MSC, so it's looking like they're all gonna send us to the new build. So we're gonna take this ship to Texas and then they're gonna take, they're gonna send everybody that's on here to the new build. But that doesn't mean we're gonna be there permanently. It would be nice if we all got to stay there permanently. But given that the new build isn't gonna be doing anything, they may start pulling people off there to go, re to go relieve other people off other ships. Because, I don't know, MSC's a mess, really. If you need a job, you can definitely get one from here, but it's just, they're hurting so much for people, but so people are being overdue and everything. It's just, it's a weird time. But they're hurting in positions that don't help me. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the other bathroom. I know I probably should mop, but I don't feel like it. So, I don't really know what's gonna happen with my life. That's kind of a running theme with really everything. Like I have no idea what's gonna happen with me with this, with this job, or if I get another job or whatever, whatever have you, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of been a running theme. I have no idea what's gonna happen with me or my life outside of the things that I can not control, which is like buying another house or stuff like that. But even then, I don't even know if I can do that anytime soon because the housing market is shit. It's, everything's still overly expensive for no reason. Uh, like I said, you can always find something like diamond in the rough, I guess, but I don't know. Like I said, it's one of those things I, I would need to get from under my my parents wing if that makes sense like they have a specific way that they do things and don't get me wrong it works but I need to start doing my own thing because the way they do it though it got me this far it's kind of now it's kind of it's hindering me a little bit because I remember seeing a couple houses you know what I'm saying that were for sale. I was like, you know, I can afford this. But they weren't in the best of area. They were, uh, they were run down, whatever. But the price was like, okay, for that price point, I don't mind having to spend whatever I gotta spend to get it to where I need to get to. But I listened to them. And now those same houses are like 10 times what they were. And I was I could have easily have fixed them up, did what I need to do, spend the money, and I would own like at least like three or four more houses right now, or at least three, three more houses right now. But you know, you go by the people that you feel are experts. In that case, was my parents. Um, I regret it, but I mean, it's not that they don't know what they're doing, but they're very set in the ways they're not willing to take specific kinds of risks like I'm willing to take so all in all I'm really just looking for bigger purchases that like when things get more expensive I'm gonna try to well it's already expensive now so now that things are a lot more expensive I'm looking for bigger purchases that the amount I'll be spending makes more sense so like these small Warner, like like single family homes, it doesn't make sense for me to buy it. But if I can find like duplexes, multiplexes, yeah, it'd be a little bit more money. But if you break it down better, it would make more sense for me to spend that kind of money on this. You know what I'm saying? Let's say I can find a quadruplex for like 500K. That's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. 
but it's like a four unit. This quadru, yeah, quadruplex. Don't make fun of me. I'm not positive. I think so. So it'd, be, it'd make more sense for me to spend that kind of money. You know what I'm saying? That was just an example because I'm pretty sure a, a nice quadruplex, probably a million dollars, two fucking all, two million dollars. But, but well, yeah, with the way the world is, that's what it looks like I'm gonna have to be doing. Because <clears throat> the market's not going down, which in turn, everybody listen, people aren't comprehending this. The market's not going down, which in turn, rent is going to continue increasing. Y'all got that? I don't know. A lot of y'all be like, oh, yeah, these people just own all these properties and the grid. No, rent increases because things get more expensive. Once you realize this once you actually get into the point of buying houses and doing something like that you'll realize okay it makes sense for the rent to increase right now because now my insurance just doubled my taxes just doubled everything just doubled so it is what it is the how much it, the cost goes down to the whatever the owner uh, how am I trying to say this the cost trickled down to the person that's renting it is what it is. If, if one thing goes up for me, something goes up for the owner. Just like if you go to a restaurant, if the cost of food went up, that means the cost of what you're paying as a customer is going to go up. Same thing. Y'all just be getting this weird complex about um, landlords, which is fucking weird to me. But yeah. Um, I don't know. Things just... I used to be like, oh no, things aren't that hard, which if in all seriousness, my life is good. Like I can afford almost everything that I need I, I need to afford, you know what I'm saying? But getting ahead, like really, like really getting ahead is getting harder and harder. Like I'm ahead, don't get me wrong. Like I really am not pressed when it regards to money. Like I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. But it feels like I'm stuck at this specific level. And that sucks. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Some of you are really struggling. So you're like, you may be hearing me like, oh, he's a spoiled little shit. You know what I'm saying? Which you have your, it's your right to feel that way. But everybody wants to get ahead in a specific way. And it just feels like. I can't get further than where I'm at now because the way the world is right now. So we all have our own struggles. It is what it is. I'm just lucky enough to not be like down bad, down bad, you know? It is up everybody. It's our last day. It's the last meal hour before the it's the day before we leave. So last meal hour. It was not. It's lunch meal hour, but we're all getting off early because like I said it's the last day before we all leave to go overseas. So, we're well, not overseas, to go out to sea. But, uh, not much going on. Not really much dishes. But the meal hour just started, so we're chilling. But, uh, I'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow, right before we leave. I might try to film, like, all the things, <laughs> tying up or untying and all this stuff. But, uh, yeah. This is it, this is it. Am I excited to leave? Yeah, just cause I'm trying to, I'm ready for like things to progress at this point. Certain things that happen, I'm ready for it. My skills, nervous a little bit, yeah. But it's all good. I will talk to you on a few, let me wash these dishes. That's not even here. <laughs>